when shake your head at local paper story of a crime git then look again and see that he is you this long lens shifty bugger in a park when every call destroys your life even though the phone ain't got a bloody plug and when waking wonder where you are and find that most of you is asking where you've gone then welcome the who arrested for copying dogs welcome in Sit down in the chair opposite my chair. Thanks. Todd Chade? Matthew Vocker's base. Hmm. So, what seems to be the problem? Well, quite sore under this arm, just here. Right, well, under your shirt, let's have a look. Hello. Yes, I'm getting hard. They're very big and hard in my shorts. Ah, I've come on my knee. All right, bye. Um. Sorry about that, but there's quite a good reason for it. Now, let's have a look at you. Just lift your arm up. Yes. Glands up there, really quite swollen. Do you have any other symptoms? No, excuse me. Hello? Yes, I'm gliding my fist over the bulging purple head and sticking my finger up my ass. And my cock's gone off like a spunky firework. Okay, bye bye. Doctor, I, I'm really done. Uh -huh. I'm sorry about that. Um, I really don't have much choice. What do you mean? Well, we're rather short of cash at the health centre, and we found this is actually quite an efficient way of raising practice funds. Oh. Well, we'd better have a proper look at you. Strip down to your pants and pop onto the couch. I'll put on the headset so that I can carry on with you. Hello? Could you hang on a sec? Yes, sir. Uh, just lie down. Staring down at my very hard prick. It's a fucking massive bulb. Won't be long. And I'm shooting jets of thick cum into your foaming twat. Not at all. Bye. You don't seem to have any other inflammation, but I'll get you checked for glandular fever just in case. But uh, I wouldn't worry. All right. Doctor? Yes? Is that really the only way you can raise money? Oh, there are probably others, but uh, it's the best one we've come up with so far. Well, what's the money for? Uh, at the moment, it's for a little girl with head cancer. Well, aren't there funds anyway for that? Well, you would have thought so, wouldn't you? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll have to get that. Um. I'll see you again when you've got the results. Bye. Hello? Yup, I've got a thick club of pulsing gristle. I'm pushing it into your soft, warm gob. You're talking dirty past the shaft. And I'm coming so hard the spunk's flying out of your eyes. OK, bye. for a child with head cancer. Yes, I know. Unbelievable, isn't it? Right there, 
reason. Um, there you are. Thank you. So there's a fibre in there from last week as well. Thank you very much. Rosa, can I ask you something? Yes. You, you know we think you do a very good job. Thank you. I was just wondering if it would be easier with a, um, another Hoover. Another one? Yeah, it's just the one you use is um, very small. Yes, very small. Very good. It takes you two days. Hoovering all the big carpets with this tiny little machine. Yes, yes, very good for dust. The dust? Dust is very small. Yeah, it, dust is very small. A big hoover is very big. It's too big for small dust. Dust is small. I just think it would be better with um, a bigger hoover, Rosa. You don't like my work? No, it's, it's very good, but with a normal sized hoover, you'd be finished in half the time. There is something wrong with my small? No, it's just I, I can't work with, with, with this. You know, with that noise in the house for two days a week, it drives me mad. Well, I don't know. We'll pay you the same. I don't know. Rosa. Rosa. What's, what's the matter? Please, I must use my little Hoover. It's very good. Look, look, or. If, if you want to, then yes, but only if you can get the job done in one day. Three days. Three days. I must have three days for to do a proper job. Three days. It's not possible two days no more. Rosa. I bought 20 of these. What, what are these? Brushes for the small mess. Please don't be cross. I do my best. Please, I like it here very much. I work hard. Please, it is no problem for me three days. I know, I know. Please, Mr. Paul, I do very good with the dust. All right. Every little bloody dirt. Three days. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It's all right. I go now. Yes. Bye. Bye. Yeah, pulses. Oh, no, hi. Yeah, fine, fine. No, yeah, 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 she's gone. Well, uh, no, 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 she's, she's, um, she's, she's actually going to do three days now. I know, I know, I know. I, I got, you know, she, she had about 20. Shut up! 
Tenho que estar de raiva! Hello? Who is it? It's one of the papers. Tell them it was the boiler. Uh, it, yeah, it, it's the boiler. No, 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 it, it, it was the boiler. Yes, I'm fine, thanks. I... It was the fucking boiler, now fuck off! What did you do that for? Shut up and help me saw up the man. Yeah, but what the... Don't argue, just chop him up! Ready for you now, Mr. Bentham. Right, thank you. Um, was it the ankle? No. Ah, oh, Mr. Fence. Morning. Uh, good morning, sir. How can I help you? Um, my chin's been getting rather hot lately. Right. Well, I could arrange for a delivery of chin coolant sachets. Um, would you prefer them jaw-mounted or tie-mounted? Um, tie-mounted. Right. A wise choice, if I may say so, sir. In the meantime, I suggest that you lick your chin and stand on a tall building in a stiff breeze. All right, sir? Yes, thank you. Anything else, sir? No, thank you. Right, shall I put that on a count, sir? Yes, please. Certainly, sir. Well, thank you. Goodbye, sir. Yes, goodbye. Good luck, sir. Bye, Mr. Velcro. Yes. Um, about the operation. Yes? 
Bye. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Goodbye. I can get you the key to a tall building if you want, sir. Thank you. Not at all. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Something. That's very nice, shouldn't I? Oh, thanks, babe. Sit down. Thanks. It's very big. Just nothing. Made it myself. I thought it would come in handy for burying the old, you know. Well, don't they use coffins when they're that small? I thought I ought to take a special interest, seeing as it was... Barry. Seeing as what? Seeing as, uh... Hmm. No. Seeing as it was mine. It was just a one-off. That's what you said, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, I don't think I could afford that much again, anyway. Did you give the world some love today, babe? Did you give the world some love today, hey, babe? Well, you find it hard to start conversations with people. I just imagine they'll find me boring. But of course, people never find you boring if they need help. So I've started to make people need help. Excuse me? Yes? Oh, could you help me? What's the matter? I'm stuck. Sorry? Uh, my hand is stuck on the door. Stuck? Yeah, I think someone's put super glue on it or something. Ugh. Oh dear. I'm Lucy Tysman. Right. Could you call the fire brigade? Oh, yes. Yes. And you are? Molly Padley. Mm. Molly Padley. Yeah. Hello. Hi. I found bikes are quite easy to bring down at night with a wire. They don't know what's hit them. Here's one. Oh, <laughs> 
Are you on? Oh, oh. You're all right. That's my You're leg. okay. It's my leg. Oh. What's your name? Uh, Robert Caesar. Oh, oh. there's Lucy Tiesman. How do you do? Yeah, could, you, could you get me some help, please? Oh, oh yes, oh. yes, you'll need that. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Do you like grapes? What? I could bring you some grapes in hospital. I've changed tactic recently. I'm observing people at their houses so I can work out a reason for paying them a visit. Hello, Mrs. Ferris. Yes. May I come in? Yes. I'm afraid it's about Paul. We've been informed he drowned this morning in his canoe. <laughs> Very sorry, Mrs. Ferris. <gasps> Must be quite a shock. Very sad. Oh. I have actually got two tickets to see cats tonight. Perhaps you'd like to see cats with me. Cats. Shall I uh, pick you up in a taxi? <laughs> the police at the door. I think he's here about this man I've electrocuted last week. I told him I'd done it deliberately to prolong the conversation. <laughs> we had an exciting chat, but I don't know if it was a good idea. <sighs> Peter Lusk, CID. I've got a few questions I'd like to ask you. It might take a little while, so probably best if we pop down to the station. Have you caught me? Well, I've got a car. <laughs> so, well, I'll have to just get in the car, get to the station, and have a chat, alright? <laughs>